Hey, great. You made it back. And really, I really appreciate you checking out my videos. Okay, so today we're going to talk about this issue I had that's been going on with my Ranger. Uh, it's been going on for quite some time. Um, I guess I could have took it to an auto electric guy and he probably would have figured it out really quick. Uh, and then bam, minimum one hour, anywhere from 65 to 100 bucks. So I decided to f slowly figure it out myself. And through a comedy of errors, um, I finally found out what the problem was. So anyway, hopefully you don't go through the same situation that I did. I'm sharing this with you. Hopefully it saves you a few bucks in your time. And hopefully you're not obviously broken down on the road or somewhere. Uh, so before you buy a battery and before you change your alternator watch this video first and it might save you some money anyway let's head out to the truck and i'll show you okay you guys you can see i'm sitting in my ford ranger truck check out the miles on it pretty decent well i just wanted to talk to you about uh, my issues that i was having with my battery on this darn thing um, dying. I've been having issues with my truck not starting. Uh, my battery would die. So I got a brand new battery and, um, and it was an old battery so I just went ahead and replaced it with a really good one. And um, it, that died like a day or two later. And so I, by then I knew it's not the battery. So charge the battery took it down to one of those battery places and they checked it out and he said that it's your alternator. Well I went and had the alternator replaced by a friend of mine and he's a master mechanic and um, you know it ran for about a day or two and then it died again. So the only thing I came up with is that um, you know it's probably a bad alternator. So I took the alternator back. Well, first of all, when I figured it was, you know, it was probably the alternator, I went back to the battery place and told him, you know, what I told you guys. And uh, he checked it out and uh, he said, everything's fine. And I said, are you sure? Because, and I told him again. And he, what he said was that the alternator um, the voltage regulator is, you know, sometimes uh, he's seen that the volta voltage regulator, the voltage regulator will intermittently work. So I've, you know, I've been around the block. You know, I'm not a young kid. I've, you know, I've never heard that before. So I took his word for it. So I, I pulled the alternator out. I went back to the parts place, and they said, and I told him what, you know, I told you guys that you know it works intermittently. So he puts the alternator up there. And he comes back and he says, I said, he goes, we're going to give you another one. I said, so what was wrong with the alternator? And he said, well, it works intermittently. And I went, oh, okay. So I guess, you know, that guy was right. So I uh, put the alternator back in and I turned it on. And one of the things that I've noticed, but never really paid attention, and this is where you... So this is what this video is all about, so listen up here. And the reason why I'm pointing the camera to the dash, if you notice on, let's see if I can get a better angle here. If you notice you have, you know, the uh, battery. If you notice here, you got the battery and you've got the water temp, uh, I believe, no, it's the oil pressure. What, this and this, these two gauges. What I noticed is that when you turn when you turned it on the needle would like you know move where, where it was you know it's supposed to be at it would jiggle like this and I thought it was you know because of the road you know how some gauges will move they would both do that now this one went up about oh what just past 12 o'clock and this one went in between the middle of the battery and where it says low it was somewhere in there and they were both jiggling so, this is what I found out through, you know, questions and, you know, questioning everybody that I knew. This is what I found out. 
Okay, so we popped the hood and uh, we're going to the back of the alternator. You can see my finger here. Just making sure that those connections are in there. That's I know it sounds stupid, but just double check them. Sometimes uh, they don't get plugged in all the way and they'll pop out. So just insurance, just put, you know push down on your finger. Of course, the car's not running, right? One of the things you can also do if you really want to uh, work on these plugs is to unplug them. Make sure the plugs look nice, clean, and nothing's bent or rusted and spray some contact cleaner in there just to, just to clean them just to, again it's just for insurance it's not something you have to do and typically there's usually a, not a problem with this but it's just something to double check because mechanics they're human too so okay let's look at the other side of the uh, engine here and you can see where the battery's at and you can see the negative side here you got this black wire like right about there that black wire is the ground and if you have a bad ground those needles will move so <laughs> that was my problem all this time this stupid little black wire uh, it cost me oh shoot about god I want to say at least uh, 75 bucks uh, maybe a little more just to find that out that little black wire so uh, make sure that it, the contacts are clean Make sure that the contact is clean at the body, not just at the battery, but also at the body, as shown here. Clean it really good, brush it. Um, now, what they're telling me is this, if you look at the terminal uh, where the battery, you know, where it goes into the battery, that terminal, I was told, is not a very good uh, terminal and that that should be replaced with the correct terminals uh, I'm not too sure if there's truth into that but I just thought I'd pass that on to you uh, I'm sure there's a bunch of better ways to connect that black cord into that terminal but for right now that's what I got and once it was connected correctly let me show you what happened okay so let's get in the cab and turn on the engine and what you're gonna see is you're gonna see these needles go up and as you can see, the oil gauge is past 12 o'clock, sort of like 1 o'clock area. See where the charging system gauge is at, which is on the bottom right? It's right in the middle of the battery. What you're seeing there is what you're supposed to have. It's not supposed to move. If it doesn't look like this, you have a problem. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean it's an alternator. Uh, it could be many things. This is one of the things, after replacing just about everything, is what the problem was it just needed the ground to be correctly connected okay so we talked about two things today um, we talked about the battery and we talked about the alternator uh, and the issues that you'll have with it what I left out is the starter you're gonna have to crawl down there and uh, with a creeper or just jack it up and crawl down there and uh, look at your starter make sure that the ground and the positive connection nuts are tightened. Again, this is something you don't have to do. It's just for insurance purposes. Uh, if you get the skills and tools and you got the time, might as well check it out. I know the starter has nothing to do with the charging system, but what we're doing is we're making sure that all the ground wires that are connected to the battery or powered from the battery to the body, the starter is well connected. Okay, that's about it. I hope this video helped you out. Please check out my other videos that I have on my channel. I've got repair videos, cooking videos, all sorts of uh, how-to videos. Again, don't forget to like and subscribe. See ya. Bye.